Hello, my name is Charlie, and I'm talking to the very distinguished photographer, Ben Osborne, who knows about competitions and indeed winning competitions. So could I ask you, Ben, hello for, to begin with. Hi. Could, I, could I ask you a, a few questions? But the main question I have for you really is, um, with something like the competition that we run, Landscape Photographer of the Year, what would be your observations and your feelings um, about entering competitions in, in a sort of generic way? And then perhaps we could be a bit more specific. I'd like to know. Well, entering competitions is a really interesting thing to do because it's not necessarily within the sort of psyche of, of, of photography. And, you know, when you're out there as a landscape photographer or wildlife photographer or whatever, um, you're just there, in, you're interested in making interesting images and trying to sort of hone your technique, your craft, trying to develop a style and that sort of thing. You know, you're, th those are the sort of, those are the objectives really. But there are competitions around, and, and it's interesting to, to, to enter them. And, and I think it's a, really, it's a really valuable thing to go in for competitions because what it makes you do is it makes you look at your images in a slightly different way or in a more critical way because quite often you know, you'll take a series of images and think, oh, they're all, they're all fine, you know. But when you actually have to say, right, which one of those am I going to put into a competition? Mm. Then you have to really think, well, what's the value of that one against that one, you know, and, and you compare different images or that scene against that scene. And you might have sort of photographed the same view in slightly different ways. And it makes you kind of critical of, you know, of, of what you've done and how you've done it. And, and also, actually, I, I come from a point of having judged competitions as well as gone in for them. And... The judging is interesting because when you're judging, what you're looking for is you're looking for something different, something that wakes you up. Because actually, if you're just seeing thousands of images going past you during a day, what you want is not the sort of, oh yeah, you know, the book let it more. <laughs> it's something which makes you go, oh, hang on, what's that? I, I, I don't, I've not seen that before. I, I, I'm not, that's a really interesting way of photographing that view uh, or that's a, you know, there's a, a style in there which I you know find interesting so it's it's the ones that make you stop and say what's going on here you know mm. how have they done that what mm. have they done um, and those are the ones that are interesting so uh, for somebody entering a competition I would suggest you you look through not just all your kind of pictures of your standard views that you've done but also the one the sort of more interesting ones where you've experimented where you've you know, push the envelope slightly and, and done something sort of new and slightly more innovative. Mm. Those are the ones that, that not only will make you excited about your own photography, but might just, you know, um, meet, you know in, impact on, on, on a judge's eye with slightly, you know, a slightly sort of greater force as well. Oh. And so I think that's, that's, that's the interesting bit. Try mm. something different. It makes mm. you experiment. And um, mm. those, are, those are the ones to go in the competition. Oh, I'm really pleased to hear you say that because I'm glad to say that Landscape Photographer of the Year has a number of different categories mm. because, of course, we have to remember that each individual perhaps has a different way of seeing mm. things. Absolutely. So we've got, you know, classic view and, and as you were saying, to you, I was thinking of the word edgy. So just mm. slightly different is marvellous. Mm. So I, I think that I'm, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I, I really do think it can extend you as a photographer. And of course, um, although I know that you probably don't mind about this, but it, it, you're, you won your competition, of course, and it, and it certainly put you on the map. And I love to think mm. that it elevates photographers in a, in a way that perhaps they may not have found a, a route to do that to begin with. I, th I, think it, I, c I think it can be very important. I mean, certainly, I would say, actually, for a lot of people starting out and saying, well, I want to be a photographer, you know, actually winning a competition is a pretty useful way to get in there yes. and, and to make your, make your name known. Yes. Um, I, I have absolutely no doubt about that at all. Mm. Um, and whether you're good at promoting yourself or absolutely useless like I am, um, mm. I think it's, it, it's still a valuable thing to have to sort of hang on your... You know, as, as one of your sort of photographic credentials, you know, if you won something like Landscape Photographer of the Year, that, that is a, a very serious plus uh, in your portfolio. And I think it's really important sort of professionally, but also as a sort of keen amateur, you know, it, it can give you a huge sense of pride, but it can also it can also motivate you to go on to do, you know, more interesting things and it and can sort of give you the confidence to, to sort of feel that your photography is good. Because so many people think that, they say, oh no, my pictures aren't very good, you know, and you look at them and you think, actually, there's some really lovely things here. Mm. And with a little bit of 
tweaking, you know, th these could be great images. And I think, you know, success in a competition certainly sort of gives you a, a sort of, you know, yardstick of where you've got to uh, right. and can certainly be a boost for confidence or or a professional career as well. You raise that word confidence. It's the perennial problem, isn't it, with photography? Yeah. Lack of confidence. Yeah. And if you had not had the confidence when you mm. won yours, and if the 13 or 12 people who had not won the Landscape Photographer of the Year failed to have confidence, mm. we wouldn't have seen these marvellous no, images. Absolutely. Well, you've really been absolutely fascinating to talk to, Ben. Thank you very much indeed. Mm.